Hello guys! After getting pissed off a few couple thousands, if there's such a number, times on my quests because they are not auto-tracking and being pissed off on Blizzard because they removed so much options from your options I decided to search how to turn on the quests auto-tracking because they are, those options are still in the game although you cannot see them in your options. There are add-ons which shows the full potential of your options. I will post a link in the description for these add-ons. But I have enough add-ons so I will not download it and just enable the things I need. If you need only a few things and you don't want new add-ons, uh, watch this video or look at the description below where you can see the codes. So let's start with the first thing first how to enable the quest auto tracking so when you get a quest it's not showing up it's here now i have one i can auto track it but when you have 15 and you don't know where it is it's pretty frustrating so what you need to type is in your chat box you need to type slash console Auto quest watch one. When you press enter, you need to reload your UI. Kaboom! It's much faster when you don't have add-ons. And then when you click your quest, kaboom! It's here. I found one other code which I'm not quite sure what it does. It says it sort newly tracked quest by proximity, which I would think it means sort them by you took it first, you took it second, you took it third. So let's see. Um, I will take this quest as well. Only to have anot another quest to sort. And then I will type flash console tracking quest sorting proximity. I will reload my UI. I will see the quests and next I will accept the new quests. And I guess nothing happened. <laughs> I don't know what this does. It's sorting them somehow. Maybe when you get closer to the quest it will sort it closer. I don't know. Um, anyway, the next thing I wanted to show you is the combat text. You see? Poof, you don't see the combat text. Why would you? There are add-ons for this. <laughs> or so the blizzard said. I mean thought. Anyway, um, the same is for healing. I'm running after this guy only to use him for the purpose of the video. You see? You don't see healing. So, how you turn on your healing first before I miss him? You need two different commands. The first one for the healing is floating combat text combat healing one. You're reloading your UI and you are running to find the guy who just went inside. Oh, he's close. Okay, so you click. <gasps> Voila, you see him healing. If you try it on yourself though, you will not see anything. Um, that's because there is an option in your interface, in your combat, where you need to check scroll combat text for self. You click it, you heal it, you see it. Simple as that. Okay, let's show you how to enable the damage. So you need um, this command, floating combat text, combat damage one. Loading your UI, then search for mob, which is not already dead. Poor monkeys, I killed so many today. <laughs> I'll show you later why. And kaboom! You see, even the the in combat and out of combat text and low mana and such something that I really hate. So. I 
disable it again. I have add-ons for this. The, sc the scrolling text right here. Anyway, the next thing I want to show you is something I'm not quite sure how works because I don't see the difference for me, but it is supposed to make uh, the floating combat text done, the one you've done, bigger and scrolling up, increase of arcs, whatever that means. So let's try it. So you need to type. Oh, that's huge. Okay, are you ready? You need to type floating combat text combat damage direction scale. I guess three. I don't know the numbers. They don't say. Reloading. Okay, combat text. Poof. I don't see it to be big. Oh, it's changing the direction now. Oh, let me see because I tried it already. Let's see if reload UI. Now oh, you see now it's like this. Up, up, up. That's for arc. Okay, let's turn. Make it dirty. Huh? Huh? Dirty, not dirty. Okay. Um, reload UI. And that's gonna be cool. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see it? Because I didn't. <laughs> the pew pew pew. That's cool. Okay, that's how. That's what this does. Come out, come out. Come here. Pew. Maybe I need to make it lower. Um, let's see. Fifteen. Huh? How is this? UI. How oh, fifteen sounds to you? Nope. <laughs> Did you see it hit it? It hit it. Oh my god. You, you will definitely not see the damage you do <laughs> in this one. Maybe you can make it smaller, like one. Reload UI. So, this is to make an arc. Yeah, to not go straight up, to make arcs. Okay, that's good one. So, the next one is for your experience bar. You don't need to mouse over every time you want to see your experience so you type xp bar text one every time you need to make to type a command you need to reload your ui and slash console so yeah uh here you see your experience you see how much you have left before you level up Okay, the next thing is for your minimap. Would you like to rotate with you when you rotate? Too much rotating. You need to tap console, rotate minimap one, and it will rotate with you. I don't know why would you need that, but it is here for you. So, the next one is for the enemy plate scour. I don't have any enemies here, so I'll not be able to show you, but I will show you the code. So, if you want to show the class coloring nameplates, you need to type show class coloring nameplate nameplates one for activating and zero for deactivating disabling disabling. Um, the next one is something that did not work for me, but it might work for you. It's to show all buffs on target um, you need to type no buffs the buffs filter on target one and it's supposed to work for me no maybe i need a player target not enemy target but i don't have such as so you can just try it and tell me if it works for you or not or should i disable it um if you want to hide or show friendly enemy player name guild or titles I got lost hide friendly or enemy players names guild or titles that sounds like it for friendly nameplates you need to type unit name friendly player name zero for height and 
one for show. The same thing goes for enemies. You need to type, you need to name enemy player name zero for height and one for show. For I believe that's titles because it says titles, duh. Like your title, like my title is what's my title? Do I have title here? Okay, no title. Uh, I read it moron, I don't know why. Okay, it's Christmas. Let's say Merrymaker. If you want to type, I mean, to see your title. To see the player's title, Mary Maker, for example, you need to type. You need to name player. Dune. That's not the one. I copied the wrong one. Anyway, that's if you want to see the guild. You need to type. You need to name player's guild. Zero for disable and one for enable. You didn't type the PvP one. Maybe I missed it. Anyway, I'll repeat it because I'm. It's the day after new year and I'm still 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 not okay I mean I'm crazy but whatever I'm still drunk no I'm not drunk I haven't drunk last night ah I'm talking too much that's probably because I r do this clip second time that's another story for the vlog tomorrow <laughs> okay um so console unit I mean console unit name player pvp title zero for disable and one for enable and here is how to show the guild title you need to name guild title one zero for disable and one for enable if you're wondering what is the guild title that's for example in my guild uh i don't know what are they you know you have some officer some vip members some some stuff like this depend on the guild um, okay, if you want to change the distance that nameplates show up, the default is the default is 40 yards, uh, 60 yards. But if you want to change it, for example, in 40 yards because you don't want to see so far because you don't need it. You know, you're melee. Let's say you need to see them when you get close, you know, face to face. Um, so <laughs> you need to type slash run set. C V A R uh, Collins? No, I don't know. I just copied it in the description. Um, Nameplates max distance, uh, comma forty, which should be forty yards. If you want to turn it back for normal, uh, you type sixty. Okay, and here, um, I'm not sure how I'll be able to show you this, but I will post it in the description. Let's see if I'll be able to paste it. That's a macro. Pretty, pretty long one. Come on, come on. No. There we go. It says. Ha! Ah. Um, it's a random ground macro. Mount macro. It looks like this. I know it looks strange, but huh? Uh, that macro will show, will mount you up with a different mount every time. Maybe, maybe not, because you know how the random chance of Blizzard go. I will post in the description also a link for a uh, random fly mount, if possible, otherwise ground mount. And if I find it, I will post a link in the description for specific mount flying if possible if not ground mount you know you get to pick them up and not have some mount you don't like from your hundred thousand collection mounts <laughs> okay in the last thing because it's the stupidest 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 one stu most stupid one um for <laughs> people like me who n who are getting mad because couldn't scroll and I was like oh, I bugged my interface somehow with all those macros um, it's pretty simple go in your key binds then go in camera and then zoom in and zoom out and you just key bind your mouse wheel simple as that but if you're like me it's hard to 
thought of it like you expect something pretty 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 um hard and strange like those all those settings and stuff and and codes and scripts and such and and here you see your hand saying you hi and I'll hide it. Anyway, <laughs> that's my gaming mouse. Uh, I don't think it's gaming. Yeah, it's it's bloody. They are always cool. Here you get to set your uh, sensitivity. And, and yeah, the color of the mouse. Anyway, you probably know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's are all of the useful or not so useful things uh, thank you so much for watching if you find some cool and interesting one make sure to post it in the comments below so I can include it in the description maybe <laughs> and more people can see it and be happy with all those things that blizzard hide from us and make us type them and search them and oh blizzard i love you so much anyway thank you so much for watching guys and hope to see you again soon bye bye